Hi, today I'd like to show you how easy it is to bring a file that you have previously purchased from My Vinyl Designer into your Silhouette Studio software. The file we're going to use today is an Alphabet 2 monogram. The first thing I like to do when I am starting a new project is to define my output size to equal that product that I'm actually putting my vinyl on. And in this case, it's a 9 by 12 tile. So the first step that I take is I go up to my uh, right-hand corner menu toolbar and I'm going to click on the little box with the little red box inside of it and that's our page menu. And that allows us to set portrait or landscape or um, whether it's letter or format and the actual size. So I'm going to go from an 11 inch length to a 12. Okay, when I do that, it makes a slight adjustment. The default size is 8.5 by 11, and the 8.5 inch width is due to the actual physical constraints of the cutter. So you can go smaller on your 8.5 inch uh, width, but not larger. Our next step is to go ahead and bring a file into this page. And we're going to go up to the upper left hand corner, left click on File, and left click on Open. Now we can open different file types within this software, so we need to go to the bottom and tell the software what type of file we're looking for by clicking on the bottom box arrow. And I use GSD format. I used it in RoboMaster and I still use it today. So I'm going to go get the W of this monogram and bring it in. There it is. Now, in order to do anything with this file, we need to select it. To do that, I place my cursor above the data on the left side and I drag it to the right and down to the bottom and let go. And you'll see that a lot of information pops up around your file. And this information helps you to manipulate this file now. But before I do anything um, movement wise, I like to group my data. And that is because when you group your data, it um, allows you to move or rotate or resize this data without losing any data or uh, distorting any data. It kind of moves as one piece at that point. So we go up to object in our upper left hand corner and we go down to group. And now that data is more or less cemented together and will move as one piece. Our next step, we need to rotate this data. So we go to our upper right hand corner toolbar again and look for the little curved arrow. And click on that and we have some options. All I need to do is rotate one time to the left. So we're going to click on the 90 degree counterclockwise just one time and it does the rotating. Adjust my file a little bit here. Alright, now I'm ready to move my file to the upper left hand corner. Sorry. Keeping all the data within the red lines. And you'll see the red lines on this page and they represent the cutting area. Any data within the red lines will cut, any data with, you know, beyond the boundary of the red lines will not cut. Now keep in mind that your file, if you're ready to send it and you send it to your cutter, it will go to the cutter and the cutter will cut it. However, any data outside the red lines will not cut. So in order to not waste vinyl or cutting time, you want to make sure you place your data carefully. Now you'll notice the little boxes around your data. If you put your cursor inside those boxes, it turns to a bi-directional arrow. This lets you know that you can resize now. So if you click and drag your file, it will drag it. You, I'm going to drag it to the far right um, setting just within the red line. I'm going to do the same with the bottom because I want my monogram to fill my page. So I'm going to place my cursor in the little box. It turns to a bi-directional arrow. I click it and I'm going to drag my data down to the bottom of the page keeping everything within the red line. You can see that all my data is inside the red line. Now our next and very last step is to personalize this monogram. 
We're going to go to the upper right hand toolbar again and we're going to select the capital A that lets the software know that we're going to work with uh, text and select our text and how big and one great um, option that um, Silhouette Studio gives you is that any true type font that is found within your word processing program, it will automatically load all those true type fonts into your Silhouette Studio software and make them available to you. I like to use Carlton. Now I don't adjust any font size or anything at this point because we adjust that when we move it into the space allowed. Now we need to go and tell the graphics side that we're going to enter some text into our file. So we go over to the left hand toolbar and we're going to select again the capital A and click on our file. And you'll see a red blinking vertical line and that's your software telling you it's ready to accept the text. So go ahead and type in your text. Click off your uh, information and click back on it and it will select it again for you and obviously we need to rotate our data again so I'm going to go and get that curved arrow and again I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise one time if I click on my data I can move it and now using those boxes I'm going to adjust the size to fit into the area that we are given for our last name. So now our monogram is personalized. That easy.